Hi, I'm James Bringy. I'm with Gia Farm Technologies. Today we're at Abel Dairy Farm. Uh, the Abels have been a customer of Gia's for over 20 years. Today we're going to take a, a walk through a new system that we're installing for them. It's an 80 stall T8800 rotary. Uh, some of the unique features we have in this system is a uh, chiller for direct load. Um, we have our new low profile bale on this stall with a milk metering system, the Debentron 70, and per place ID using an ear tag. Out back we'll take a look at some sort gates and what we're doing for cow movement in the uh, holding pen. Uh, let's go take a look. Kia offers two types of crowd gates. They're both air driven and or they can be driven by hydraulic power. The gate we have here at this installation is a Magnum air crowd gate. It's an air operated gate that's controlled by the M6330 in the parlor. One of the features of that control is that it automatically advances the crowd gate based on the number of animals that have gone into the parlor. That takes away the operation of the gate from the operator so he can concentrate on other tasks. So depending on the size of your rotary, there are three different configurations we use at the entrance. On smaller rotaries, you'll typically see a single entrance where cows come in nose to tail. On this particular parlor, we have what's called a cow and a half entrance, so it's wider at the back. And as we transition to the entrance of the rotary, it narrows down so one cow gets on at a time. In some of our larger systems, we use a, a entry system where it's either two or three cows wide, depending on how big the rotary is. So as the animal transitions onto this parlor, you'll notice again with the posiform arm that the milker unit is below the deck. That keeps the animal's feet and legs away from the hoses and the milker unit itself. As the cow comes on, we're going to identify her up here with the per place ID system. That'll coordinate the ear tag identification with the Demetron 70 milk meter um, down here on the stall. The other feature we have here at this farm is the new low profile stalls that we offer on both the T8900 and the T8800 series product. Uh, one of the reasons we came out with this product was to really improve the ergonomics for the cow as she gets on and off this parlor. Uh, smooth round edges, all stainless steel. Uh, the low profile really makes it easy for a cow to get on, a nice wide entry, and when she gets off to swing her head over the top of the stall to turn around to leave. One of the other nice features we incorporated into this product was uh, serviceability. Underneath the stainless steel cover is the air cylinder and that cylinder operates the posiform arm to lift the unit up and drop it down um, in this parlor. So when we have the posiform arm with the unit in the lowered position, you can see that our milk routing and pulsation come from underneath the deck. Again, that's to allow the unit to be dropped down to have it in a safe position as cows are getting on and off. This customer has chosen the future cow brush on the rotary parlor to help uh, do the prep, um, clean, wash, scrub, dry teats. Um, we use a couple benefits as the microbial brushes here on the future cow help clean um, and then the light as well um, makes the milk technicians very easy to, to see if they're getting the, the teats clean and dry like they need to. Um, we also use a chlorine dioxide product through the future cow brush. One of the benefits of that product is that it kills very quickly and it's made to dry fast as well. So we assure that the milkers are attaching a, to a clean, dry otter. One of the upgrades that this dairy decided to use was the counterbalance. Um, the counterbalance just helps keep the brush in place. So as, as the milker moves on to another cow or lets the brush go, the brush stays right, right in place here and easy accessible for that next cow to grab. Um, this counterbalance would be a, a upgrade that you can do to an existing future cow system or an upgrade on a new future cow system as well. So both in rotary parlors and parallel parlors um, just to help keep that brush in place and where the milker is easy accessible for them. 
This arm is designed to have the unit in the down position for cows getting off and getting on, but at the proper position that we're attaching the milker unit, it will be lifted up in the presentation mode as we see here. The function of this arm is really to uh, ergonomically help the operator attach the milker unit. And the way that works is the operator will grab the cluster, push this arm forward, and as we push it forward, it'll release the rope, start the vacuum. So the main function of the operator at that point is to attach the um, unit to the cow and then hang the posi ball strap, which adjusts the hose. So in optimizing a dairy to achieve the best performance, there's a number of factors that have to be taken into account. Vacuum levels, pulsation, rate ratios, and the type of pulsator you use, as well as the inflation and the liner and the claw that you use. On this particular dairy, they have chosen our Apex Pulsator, which is a diaphragm pulsator, extremely reliable and very adaptable to different rates and ratios and options that they may have to help maximize milk out on cows. Um, the vacuum levels here are determined by variable speed drives, very efficient, high speed vacuum pumps, um, and, and it delivers a um, vacuum very quickly and, and optimally. And then of course, all of that ties into the proper liner that they're using, uh, which uh, is, is mainly designed for performance milking. So when you tie in all of those features, a proper vacuum level, the optimal pulsation settings, and a, and a well-fitting liner to the cow, you will have the best chance of optimizing the milk out and performance on any dairy. In the center of the rotary, we have some key milking components. So behind me, um, obviously you can see this is a subway installation. Um, we have a two receiver system with a four inch sloped milk line. Uh, on this particular setup, we have the Metatron milk meter. We have uh, the Apex M pulsator, which is tied into the detacher control. Uh, unique features about this setup is the pulsator starts when the unit's attached and the pulsator stops when the unit comes off the cow. The other nice thing about this system is it is networked through um, the dairy plant software, which resides in the office, that allows for easy um, programming and changes as you adjust the system to get optimal milk out for your herd. The other nice thing, or at least features, what we really like to talk about is serviceability. So again, um, Units at the proper height, easy access uh, to quickly remove a pulsator, unplug it, put a new one on. Again, all in the theme of keeping the operation running efficiently and making it easy to service. As I mentioned on this system, there are two receiver systems. Um, so on each milk slope, we have uh, 20 milker units. So 40 milker units come into one receiver here. This is a 50 gallon receiver. Uh, running on a three horsepower variable speed pump. The way this works is that we pump the milk to the center, it goes through a swivel, and then it goes out to the milk house where we put it in our milk wash reservoir. That allows us to slowly pump that milk through the plate cooler. Uh, we chill it down to 34 to 36 degrees and it goes on a tanker. Uh, the other features that we're really looking at here near the milk handling system, um, air actuators that we use to close the system down and, and make the slug to wash it. And some of the things that we really think about from the installation side, uh, easy to service. And again, that just goes to low cost of ownership. So the ability to unplug and replace this motor in about five minutes is important. Again, it's about keeping the uh, milking system up and running um, 24 hours a day. So what should you expect from GIA? I think the number one thing that you can expect from GIA is outstanding dealer service. We have the best dealer network of any company manufacturing products today. Secondly, I think you can expect support level from company uh, reps, from research and development, um, which I feel is second to no one in the industry. And then third, I think you, you will get durable products that stand the test of time, cow friendly, and ability to give you performance and optimal milking for your dairy. 
So one of the unique features on the T8800 series um, rotary deck is that uh, number one, the drive motors are actually serviceable and uh, we can inspect them from the outside of the rotary. So when we take the shielding off the uh, uh, drive, we can swing the motor out, put the drive unit on it to inspect the drive wheels or replace it if necessary. Uh, this is really, uh, again, a kind of a unique feature in that the way this drive motor engages uh, to the drive plate is in a vertical integration, which is uh, really different from the T8900 uh, series product and competitive products on the market. At the conclusion of milking, the vacuum will be turned off and the arm will pull the milker unit off squarely off the cow. At that point, the system will drop the unit below the deck so the cow can safely back off the um, back side of the rotary without having her feet and legs uh, touching the cluster. So at the exit side of the parlor here, at this point, the milker units have been removed and again, the claws are down in the uh, dropped position. Um, so it, there are multiple ways in which uh, t tips gonna be applied on, on any dairy. One of the methods will be just using individual cups. And so here we have a fill station where an operator would fill their cups. Um, additionally, we could have uh, manual spray applied. Uh, another uh, popular uh, feature or product that people will install on a rotary like this is an automatic spray system. So um, the Future Cow uh, Otter Mister is a product that definitely could go into a parlor like this if the uh, operation chose to go that route. So on the back side of this rotary, we have four to five stalls for the animals to transition off the parlor. You'll notice with the posiform arm that the unit is in its down position, making the exit area clean and unobstructed for the animal to get off. So we're looking at the return side of the parlor at this point. Uh, we'll have cows exiting the parlor, coming down the return lane. On days when the dairy's uh, running a foot bath, this gate will be swung over and the cows will walk through the foot bath before they transition on down to the sort gate area. As the cows come down towards the sort gate, there are two lanes the cows can select. In this setup, if a cow walks down the furthest lane and she's a sort cow, she'll be sorted into this first lane. And as she transitions down about another 20 feet, the next gate will select her and divert her into the separation area. In this system, we have what's called a sort on the fly system. And what that means is, as the cows come down through the return lane and she's identified at this ear tag panel where it reads her ear tag, if she's selected as a cow to be sorted, the sort gate will swing open and as she continues on down through, she'll be diverted into the management area. Well, that's a wrap on our tour through the facility. I appreciate everyone spending some time with us. If you're thinking about building a new milking system in the future, give us a call. We'd certainly love to come out and talk to you about what makes the GIA milking system unique and very productive. Again, uh, feel free to call us or uh, like us on Facebook.